how's it going average joes today i want to do something a bit different and tell you why you might not like my channel or my channel might not be for you so um even though this is kind of contrary to the video please like and subscribe if this is something that you would like uh if you have been enjoying my videos and if by the end of the video you go okay that, i i think i'm on board but uh, I've had this idea since I've started my channel and I was just thinking and kind of this is almost the basis of the name of my channel and why I wanted to start the channel and that is just how I see myself as completely different than a lot of other booktubers out there. Um, good, bad, you know, I, everybody has great, great content and insight and I just feel like whenever I watch a lot of videos or just thinking of my own taste, it's just I have a lot of different thoughts, opinions, um, general consensus about books as a whole. So this kind of gives a, a big insight as to, you know, why you might not like the channel or whatever, kind of gives an insight as to my um, background of the uh, of myself and the name of my channel, you know, Average Joe's, because I'm just an average Joe. But he's not weird or anything, is he? No, no, he's totally normal. Who likes to read a lot. And I'm not this big book book snob person. I don't have a literary background, all of these things. So this is just kind of me saying things more, going more deeper about me, you know, as I have uh, eclipsed 300 subscribers now, I just wanted to give more of an insight into me and my channel and what to expect, you know, as I go forward and whatnot. So why you might not like my channel or why you, why my channel might be different uh, than typical. And that is what I already alluded to is that I was not an English major. I do not know a lot of English terms or uh, use a lot of uh, English terminology or can really do deep dives onto the structure of any sort of uh, books of literature itself. Um, I, I did the minimum in school, in high school, uh, just, I just did enough to stay eligible for sports. English was always my worst subject. In college, I did the absolute minimum for my majors to, to, to get on. And that was like, you know, my last English um, class is probably like 15 years ago. And I went to school late because I was on active duty first. So English is not my jam. I do it for pure entertainment, escapism, not going to deep dive into stuff. I still couldn't tell you what pros are. Uh, to me, pros are just anything that's not dialogue or action. It's just everything else. That's that's as far as I know. So that's why I don't really use that term or a lot of other terms in my either recaps, reviews, breakdowns, anything like that, because I just don't know how to properly lose, use them. So I'm just going to use my other words that I do know. Oh, I don't think I'm a lot dumber than you thought that I think that I thought I was once. So that's the first thing is that I'm just not an English person. I not, I'm not a literary person. I'm just average. I, I majored in uh, mass comm, PR and advertising some more of the creative side of stuff and like copy editing and stuff is very creative, but it's very different. Um, I don't do deep dive reviews, uh, especially dedicated reviews to all books that I read, uh, especially if they're popular books. Like I'm not going to give the 1 millionth review of, you know, Red Rising or anything that Brandon Sanderson or um, Joe Abercrombie puts out. There's enough reviews out there. You can just look up those. Uh, they'll, people will do a way better job from, than me. So I'm not going to do a book reviews for everything I read. Uh, typically, the stages of my book reviews, the only ones I actually do book reviews on are like self-published, new, newer, um, you know, new really, um, debut authors and things like that, that are that like just don't have a lot of light or traction that I would like to help out. Uh, I do, like, I don't do deep reflections onto books and like deep dives into it. The only times I do a reflection and rant is if it is a popular book and I just really want to share my opinion because I have a lot of contrarian thoughts or, uh, negative thoughts, nitpicky things that I just want to rant about about this popular book, uh, not to bash them at all. I just, it's just something that I, that I feel like talking about and venting about at times. Um, those only happen sporadically. You know, I've only filled my second one of that. And then the only ones, other ones I do is why you should read. And that's ones that are on the fringe of being popular, but I think I just want to push people to more read it. And I just feel strongly that people need to read this. But it, other than that, I'm not going to do deep reviews on all the books that I that I uh, read. I just read too many of them, and I don't think all of them need reviews. I just wouldn't have enough to say about any of them. Uh, next, I am not a book collector. I bargain book buy. If I see, you know, I'm always looking on Kindle and Amazon for whenever books go on sale. If they're two dollars, 
then that's when I buy it for like $5 less than I buy. I almost never buy a book that's more than $10. I've seen $100,000, except maybe in the movies. But I assure you something gets lost in the translation. Um, physical, sometimes I will, depending on what it is. But if it's more, like I will probably not read any more of the Murderbot Diaries because each book is $12 and it's only like 150 pages novella, which is absolutely ridiculous. So I'm out. So I'm not a book collector. I do bargain book buy. When I do buy physical books, most of these are used. So I just go on and either I use bookstore, like a lot of these for, were from a used bookstore, secondhand shop, or like these legacy books. They were probably like $3 and I paid another two or three for shipping. So I get each book for five or six bucks. The stories are all the same on the inside. I'm not, I'm not a, I don't do special editions of books. I'm not a book collector. I do not, I will, I have yet to ever, and I don't plan on buying more than one version of a single book that goes for audio and physical or Kindle and physical or anything like that, because I'm only going to read one of them. Now I might get to a point where there, there's been once or twice where I think the audio book just didn't work for me for a book. And I might eventually get down the road. If, if I, if there's a sale on that one, then I might try, try it on like actually read and then vice versa. There might be some sloggy type books uh that i might turn to um the audio version just because they're too wordy too descriptive and i just need to get on with it or, or be able to listen at my 2x speed normal so that's it and i guess along the lines of of that you know i own kindle i own physical books i own audio books i do all of them i'm not like a, a book snob in one direction or another all the stories are the same to me typically if i start a series on one medium i try and finish it on that one but there's been once or twice where i've kind of blurred over um and like there might be some series like wheel of time eventually when i do that i think i'll do a mix of reading and then when it gets to the slog books i'm going to go full on audio because 2x speed get that through 30 second skip button for all the descriptions and just and just go um i don't need all those descriptions and i guess that can kind of go into a next point of that uh, I do not one for literary beauty or beautiful descriptions, flowery writing, uh, wordiness, classics, long prose, all of these things. I just don't need it. I'm like more of a straightforward story. Um, now, I don't know enough about prose to, as I've said before, to describe what I do like. Um, I know that people like Guy Gavroquet do not work for me but Stephen King does. Uh, I, for some reason, Stephen King can write a lot about nothing that's going on, but I'm just captivated by what's happening. But if you give me somebody that's just taking too long to describe stuff or giving me way too many metaphors and similes, and you know, you might say, oh, well, the imagery of this is so good. I'm like, well, you can just actually describe it to me and that's fine. Um, I'm here for, for info dumps, all about info dumps, totally fine with that. So that's my kind of view on it. Like I, I don't need the poetry or, or the, the beautiful writing. I just need a good story, characters, and plot. Um, me, myself, I guess, if you want to go to that as well, is uh, I'm pretty monotone, I know, and I'm unenthusiastic. That's just how I am. I guess I'm not really an angry person. <laughs> Are you angry now? Um, and I think it's also with the medium as well. So I'm mostly an extrovert. And I can't really be an extrovert to a camera. I can, I, if, if you were to see me in person, my, my personality is completely different. Um, if you ever watched the booze and books ones or when we were on with Lauren, I was, that was a little bit more about who I am, but like just talking to a camera, this is just how I talk. I can't be enthusiastic to a camera. I just can't. But if I was in person and if, if I were to do like collaborations and stuff with people, I think you would see a different side of that. But either way, I'm fairly monotone and unenthusiastic. I'm more of a dry humor uh, witty type of type of person. And then I'm also on the more of a logical and critical side versus emotional side of my views and thoughts toward toward most things and, and uh, especially toward books. All right. Uh, yeah, I already said that I'm on the on very much on this on the surface, a shallow type of reader, I guess you could say story, characters, fun ride, escapism, boom, done. Um, I do not do monthly tbrs or wrap-ups like i think a majority of people do which is completely fine that just doesn't work for me because i know there's always always going to be bl blend overs but i'm much much more of a mood reader um i have i've talked about a bunch of times about my priority reading tiered list that i do for the entire year 
that that list stays the same for the year. And I check in like quarterly to see what I, what I want to get to each quarter, but it also goes off of mood. Like I am reading so many things now at this point of the year that I didn't either never even heard of or never thought I was going to read earlier in the year, but you know, guess what? My mood dictated that I wanted to do it. So that is another thing is that I'm not going to do like, I, 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 I prefer to do quarterly check-ins to where I say what I read this previous quarter, what was my favorite of this quarter, how many I read, what I want to read going forward, how it stacks up with my priority tiered list that I made for the year. So those quarterly check-ins I much prefer because I, I, I like a more macro view than a monthly view because a month, considering it takes maybe a week to read each book, it's, it's kind of hard to, to, each month is kind of like, it can be kind of a mess and I just don't care to do it for every month. But I mean, I know it's great for other people. And I, I honestly, I still watch everybody's monthly uh, wrap ups and TBR just because I like those. So I, I get that. I just, I'm just not going to do those mostly. Um, <clears throat> next one, I guess to allude to this is, uh, I, this is just coming up soon, but I love Christmas and Christmas season and November 1st Christmas season starts. And if you don't like that, then too bad because things are going to be Christmassy on my channel. And this is like one of my favorite Christmas movies, if you don't know the reference. And it was also my birth year. So remember, we have left nothing to chance. Now I have a machine gun. Ho, ho, ho. Christmas is my jam, even though that's completely not totally related to my channel. Um, this next one, last one, is one that I would actually like to change, like to fix in the future. And that is that it is hard for me to collab with other content creators and booktubers, but I want to. And right now I'm in a really weird time zone. I live about eight hours ahead of the United States East Coast time. So by the time I'm going to bed, people are just kind of starting their day and then vice versa. When I wake up at you know 6 a.m., it's like 10 p.m. So it's really hard to do any sort of collabs. And I am very... Uh, we are very strict on our bedtimes. We have our set routines and bedtimes that we like to stick to, no matter even if it's on the weekend. I am, we're just kind of a stickler for that. I, 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 we like our routines. Sleep is very important. Um, so once we move back to the States, I would like to do more collabs. Oh, we did the one with Lauren. That was a lot of fun from Paperback Empire. So I would like to do more of those moving forward. I was on Alan's channel on his live discussion. I really liked that. I want to do more of those things. I just can't do collabs right now because timing wise just doesn't work out. Um, but several months, you know, maybe four or five months, I'll be able to do some of these collabs. Um, but that's a quick rundown of why you might not like my channel and also a little bit insight of the average Joe's name of mine. You know, when I wrote out all of my names, channel names, possibilities, this is like seventh or eighth. And then after a while, it just kind of clicked. Um, it's kind of a, also tip of the cap to um, Dodgeball, one of my favorite movies ever. If you can dodge a wrench, you can dodge a ball. Oh, oh. Any other questions? And I tried to make the, I tried to, uh, my sister created the graphic for this channel, uh, did an awesome job. And I tried to make the graphic kind of cartoony like the average Joe on that, but I uh, went with a book stack thing uh, uh, on top of it. And yeah, I'm just an average person that, like three, like escapism, like stories. I'm not a English major literary person. I'm not going to do deep dives. I'm going to just tell you how it is straightforward. I'm a very logical, somewhat critical at times standpoint. And I'm just going to have fun and make random lists and things that I want as I go. And that's basically, I guess, my channel in a nutshell. So I, if, you know, if, when I do collabs eventually or things that I like to do, you know, we can share some drinks, some adult beverages, talk about uh, books, talk about things you like, um, have some dumb jokes, uh, don't, and not take things too, too seriously. That's definitely another thing for me. I don't take things too, too seriously. I just kind of have fun and go with it. So there it is. Uh, well, let me know what you think about this, my channel thoughts on content and whatnot, you know, just a little bit more about me here. Uh, a little bit of a different video, but you know, why not? And let's chat more in the comments and I'll see you in my next regular video.